It was senior day at Aggie Stadium on the campus of North Carolina A&T, and the Aggies were in for a true dogfight against the South Carolina State Bulldogs, with MEAC title game implications on the line for both teams. The Bulldogs of South Carolina State have been the Cohen kryptonite, so to speak, in Tariq Cohen's career thus far. And in the first drive of this game, Tariq Cohen looked to end all that noise with the quickness. He takes this pass from Lamar Rainard out of the backfield for 29 yards down to the Bulldog 20 yard line. Two plays later, Tariq takes the handoff up the middle for a 15 yard touchdown. Aggies on the board first, seven to nothing. North Carolina a and moved the ball well on their next possession, setting up a Cody Jones 21 yard field goal. North Carolina a and out the gate strong, 10 to zero. South Carolina State manages to answer right back on the next drive. Quarterback Adrian Collick Jr. did a fantastic job with the read option all day. He even caught me over pursuing with this fake as he keeps the ball for this 40-yard scramble down to the North Carolina A&T 28-yard line. Later in the series, Collick runs essentially the same play. Again, a fantastic job disguising the design quarterback run. This time he hits pay dirt for 17 yards out. South Carolina State will miss the extra point but gets on the board. Bulldogs 6, Aggies 10. On to the second quarter, the Aggies going into their bag of tricks for this one. Lamar Rainer pitches to Tariq Cohen who throws it and completes the pass to Denzel Keys for 26 yards. Same drive, Lamar Rainer, play action. Look at the flick of the wrist. Nice pass falls right into Elijah Bell's hands for a 25 yard touchdown. A&T would miss an extra point of their own on this one, but they still have the lead up 16 to six. South Carolina State Bulldogs looking to close the gap before the half. Caleb York hits to Montrez Burroughs for 41 yards and a touchdown with two seconds left on the clock before the half. South Carolina State Bulldogs get within a field goal. They trail 13-16 going into the halftime break. We live stream the Blue and Gold Marching Machines halftime show on our Facebook page, so y'all go check that out. We're going to get right back into the action because this second half was intense. We talked earlier about the Bulldogs being the so-called Cohen kryptonite, and aside from that first drive, South Carolina State kept him pretty much in check in this one. They hit him hard and hit him often. South Carolina State head coach Buddy Pugh's defense put the brakes on Tariq Cohen for the fourth time, holding him to 67 yards on the ground. The South Carolina State Bulldog passing attack showed their teeth in this one. Caleb York steps up and puts this one right on the money to Quan Caldwell for 46 yards. Looks like a touchdown, but the refs ended up calling him down at the one. No quit in the North Carolina A&T Aggie defense. They come up huge with big stops on first, second, and third down. forcing a big fourth and one for South Carolina State. Caleb York looks to sneak it in, finds no room, bounces out to the right, and the ball just barely crosses the goal line for a touchdown. A big time play by Caleb York and the South Carolina State Bulldogs, giving them the 20 to 16 lead with just under two minutes left in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, Aggies driving down the field looking to take back control. Five and a half minutes left on the clock on senior day and it's freshman Elijah Bell with his second touchdown catch of the day. This one for nine yards. Aggies back on top by a field goal, 23 to 20. Aggie fans on the edge of their seat and the Bulldogs know they need to make some plays to keep their MEAC championship hopes alive. Caleb York must have thought number six Kenobi McIntosh is gonna continue his route. Unfortunately, he doesn't. York throws it right to Marquise Lewis, who breaks a couple of tackles and returns it 29 yards for a touchdown. The crowd at Aggie Stadium goes wild. a t goes up 30 to 20. Defense holds off South Carolina State on their last drive, and that's how it would end. The Blue and Gold Marching Machine is turned. The seniors are smiling, celebrating an emotional win on their senior day. Needless to say, the Aggies will bask in this victory today, but they'll quickly look ahead as they have back-to-back -back road games, first against Delaware State, then the much-anticipated Aggie Eagle Classic in Durham on November 19th.